Last week, I started to use Notebook LM and I believe it's a great AI tool to help you in improving your work in your team and with your company. And it can already be used as a personal assistant. I've made two tests and I wanted to share with you in this video what you can use Notebook LM for and how you can leverage this tool. Okay, so welcome to my Safari window. This is how the interface looks like. I think if we create a new notebook like this, it prompts us to add sources and then it will use these sources and only these sources to generate answers. So that's very interesting for a company, for example, that has a lot of different tools and documents everywhere to share about their processes and their operations, for example. And as an employee or as the boss, you could use it to actually either clarify your documentation, but also just simply find the information and learn how to work in this company. And you can use it for research, for book summaries. And I've tried some of the things here. You can upload a lot of different things here. And I guess the source can be improved and, and will be increased over time. Now, I took the example of a book that I've recently finished uh, that I recommend to actually any small business owner who is very serious about scaling and creating a business that actually work. That's how Michael Gerber actually phrased this. And uh, his book is called The E-Myth. And so these notes here are my notes. So I used my books, online reader, and every time I was finding a sentence interesting, I was annotating like that. And I just exported this on a Google Doc. And this is a summary made by something called So Brief, which is an AI summary made of the PDF or the EPUB uh, format book that is found. But as you can see, it's pretty long and I need to read all of that. So Notebook LM has a few features that uh, I will show you that can actually really help you to, to save time. What happened is I took the sources. So here you have my notes. Okay. So all the important chapters. And then here you have the summary from so brief as I hope that you still follow and sorry if my explanation is a bit long, but so notebook guide here is a feature from notebook LM who basically give a summary of the sources that you put in this uh, notebook. And you can actually remove some sources to actually have a summary that is uh, going to be a little better, more accurate. Then they suggest you some questions. So I like that because for example, we can have uh, specific answers based on what the tool thinks we should ask about the sources that we've pasted. And you will see that this, the questions are not generic. They are questions that the AI thinks is great to ask and answer. And when you generate answers, uh, it's a bit like the, I think it's Gemini and Bing AI. They always put the sources of their information. ChatGPT doesn't do this, at least in the version I'm using. So here, for example, we see one, two, three. So it tells us, hey, uh, this answer is, so infancy thing, it's from the, the, the note that you took on that date. And uh, here is uh, where it comes from, et cetera, et cetera. So I think this is already pretty good. And you could uh, simply, what is it, save the answer and uh, paste it in your documentation to add uh, more content. So, and the good thing is obviously, oh, uh, okay. So the good thing that I like is this audio overview. Okay, so ready to really dive into this whole e-myth revisit. So we have some kind of a podcast that is automatically generated visited thing. I mean, it's like everyone tells you, you got to read it if you're ever going to start like your own thing. Right. Huh. But those statistics though, when you actually look at how many businesses like don't even make it past the first couple of years, kind of scary, right? Yeah. And that's where, uh, I think Gerber really hits hard. Hmm. You know, it's, sometimes it's a hard pill to swallow, but like a lot of us, we need that wake up call. He's basically saying, so obviously, uh, I'm not going to play the 14 minutes of this audio, but this is automatically generated. And um, for me, it's uh, nice because I didn't want it to read all my notes and I didn't want it to read the whole summary. So here 
I can just play, put play and maybe uh, fold my laundry or do other things on the side and hear a little bit on the side what they are saying about this book and uh, what should be the takeaway. Obviously, I've read it as well because um, for my general knowledge and because I like to read uh, books and the whole thing was interesting. Uh, but sometimes because I want a summary, uh, then I will have a summary with ChatGPT or with any other AI tools. But then here they put it inside a context and I like the way they actually story tell this because I don't know if you if you were uh, hooked by this conversation, but that's exactly how uh, they should be conversing about a book, you know, like bringing the interest, talking about the problem and then uh, having, you know, a sort of exchange on this. So very interesting. Uh, this audio feature, I think, will will help a lot of people out there who don't who have a problem with attention and and who wants to uh, to go faster in the learning, especially if you haven't read the book. Uh, then you have some small buttons here. I haven't explored them all, but let's uh, dive in the FAQ, which I know I started uh, to use. And this FAQ is actually very interesting because it will generate an FAQ basically. So uh, the E is revisited, frequently asked questions, let's go. Question one, what is it? Question two, if technical skill are not enough, no, no, no. So it's about, it's a book about business. So obviously uh, it's uh, it's putting all of this. Uh, and then here it, it gathers all the principles of this book very well, uh, widely and it's in eight questions. So that's very nice. Now. Okay, uh, and then you have see here, you can also have some more questions. You can also type questions. So uh, please uh, list down uh, all the important um, concepts of the book. Let me try that, see what it does. Okay, so uh, let's see if you haven't read the book. So the entrepreneurial myth, okay, that's one. The three personalities, technician, manager, entrepreneur, that's correct. Business life cycle, infancy, adolescence, maturity, that's correct. Working on the business versus working in the business, correct. The turnkey revolution, primary aim. I think they are all here. The system strategy, hard, soft information. That's that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to create a uh, sort of a dictionary after reading the book. That's why I isolated all the notes and uh, I, I found this summary. This was great. And I wanted to remember all the terms. And now, thanks to my notes and thanks to this AI, I can actually have this done in a, in a snap. And it's, it's creating a workspace, basically. So I like this kind of things like that because I can select and then I could create a study guide. I could create an outline, combine two notes, summarize the two. So it's very, very, very useful, honestly. Um, okay. so. Let's take another example with a customer project. So um, the company is called The Extra Mile and they have a FAQ, okay? So they are renting motorbikes and they're providing a bunch of other services in Vietnam in Saigon. And we were working on redrafting their FAQs. And um, the idea for me was, to, because it was on different blog articles, on all the service pages, on the Word document all around the place and people were uh, putting comments and adding more things. So I wanted to have a way so that I could feedback to them without going through all the things in details and trying to just give a general feedback because also one of the things I should say is I was not directly paid and asked to participate in helping on, on making the FAQ. But because I'm involved in getting them more customers and on their marketing, it was important for me to be involved in this task to understand a little more about the company as well and, and uh, making things move a little smoother. So what I asked this AI was to say, okay, please list down possible improvements to questions and answers you could find on all the selected sources. Uh, I'm not I'm not a prompt engineer and I'm not really skilled actually uh, in uh, asking AI stuff, but um, because it's within the scope of this source, like uh, I know the, 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 the AI will not uh, reach out to other random sources on the web and give me super random answers. They are only going to use the documents that I've uh, linked to them. 
And so here, possible improvement question is right now. So expand on the type of license plates, okay? So here I could give this feedback because um, the source differentiate between license plates for locals and foreigners, but don't explain all the type of plates that may exist. Well, in this case, it's completely stupid because I don't think there is all the plates that people should be aware of. Um, clarify the implication of visa expiration of NN plates, okay? Um, detailed coffee money, maybe not. Provide more detailed breakdown of, of transfer costs. Okay, so this uh, is probably going to be a no. We are not going to use this, but uh, I could learn a little more where it's, it is written, uh, the process of time coffee. Very okay, so here, maybe we could expand a little bit on that. Uh, that's a good suggestion. And what's the last four? The POA, okay, uh -huh, et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm using this for helping me to to find to find better better way to phrase the FAQ. Uh, I'm using this for many many things, and because afterwards, let's say uh, we manage to have the final FAQ, which we already did, by the way, um, then I can use it and then start asking my own questions. Like, what are the terms? We can produce other things, right? We can produce a table of content, a briefing document. So let's try that. We can actually, if I open this, critique, help me understand, suggest for related ideas, briefing document. Okay, model by ownership and rental in Vietnam, the extra mile. This briefing doc analyzes information in six articles published. No, no, no. Okay, main theme, key ideas and facts, challenge for expats, the extra mile solution. So this is actually very good for me as a marketing guy in this company because it helps me to extract some of the benefits and some of the key selling points, I would say, or things that I need to learn. And I can learn about this very quickly by just pasting. Imagine it's a new project and you need to learn fast about the whole documentation of a company. And this tool can actually help you to ask the direct questions and understand everything in a, in a matter of, of seconds. And you can add sources afterwards. You can put up to 50 sources, so it's very nice. I hope you give it a try, not LM. When you open it, you have a book that they have where it has sources and it helps you to understand how it works. So I haven't finished reading all of that, obviously. I'm only at the beginning of the, using this tool, but I felt it was worth it to make a video about it because it's a new tool and it's developed by Google, so I guess it's here to stay, even if it's an experimental phase. And it's also multi-language model, I think. It's aiming also at collecting images and understand how to translate, translate this into a voice. It would be great, actually, to keep exchanging on more productivity and great hacks to improve the way we work and improve the way we sort information. So if you have any suggestions, please reach out to me. I'm open to also collaborating with other experts in the field of productivity and helping other entrepreneurs to make some progress. I will link out the other videos that you have on my channel. I'm posting currently 100 videos every day. So make sure you tag along. We are in video 66. See you guys and have a good day. Bye.